How are you feeling? Well, I'm feeling excited because the Premier League is back. To kick it all off, Hull are hosting the champions, Leicester City. Now, Hull, they just came up. They haven't bought much players. They lost their manager, Steve Bruce. They lost one of their best midfielders in Dame. And I think they're going to go straight back down. Now, Leicester, I don't think going to win the league again. Last year, what an unbelievable, unbelievable achievement that was. Greatest sporting achievement I have ever seen. This Lamaris, unbelievable. Vardy, unbelievable. They bought, they bought a few players. So I don't expect them to win the league again with the Champions League as well. Their players are going to be tired. So I'm going to go with them. I think they're going to finish 6th or 7th. But this game, I'm going to go on Leicester side as well. And I'm also going to go 3 0 Leicester. Up next, we have another newly promoted team in Burnley at home to Swansea. Now, Burnley, the very good striker, Andrew Gray, 23 goals last season. From December onwards, he didn't lose a game. 22 games unbeaten. Very good run. Now, they're up against the Swansea team who were flattened in relegation last year. Italian manager come in and they survived. They finished 12th. But after losing their captain, their rock at the back, in Ashley Williams. So with that loss and with Gray's quality, I think Burnley will just win 1-0. Now up next we have Palace at home to West Brom. Palace, the good wingers in Townsend, Zaha, but they need a striker. They have no focal point for their attack. West Brom are a team where West Brom are a team where you're playing West Brom and you're like, oh, fuck, shit. Do we have to play West Brom today? So West Brom are a very physical team, they're very in your face. But they haven't bought much players and their team's getting old so in this game I'm going to go 1-0 Palace. Now up next we have Everton at home to Spurs. Spurs good last season, they have a good manager in Pochettino, they have a good young team, good young players, Ali, Kane, Eriksen. And Everton have a new manager in Coleman and they bought in Ashley Williams to have a fee agreed for Blassie. And Coleman at Southampton always starts off the season well, so I think he'll also start off the season well with Everton. But like I said, Tottenham are a good side, so I'm going to go one all in that one. Middlesbrough are at home to Stoke. Stoke are very inconsistent. Like last year, they beat City at home 3 0, and then they lose to Wofford at home 2 0. They good players in Nodovich, Boz, and Shkiri. But like I said, they're inconsistent. I haven't watched much of Middlesbrough so I don't know how they're going to be so I'm going to go one all in that one we're at St Mary's next for Southampton are home to Watford Southampton is where Coleman came from he went from Southampton to Everton and they have a new man in Southampton some French manager I don't know who he is they've lost Van Yama, they've lost Pele so they've lost one or two players but Slav talent there and Tadic they've Long, they've Redmond now Watford last season for a newly reported team to finish 13th and got to the FA Cup semi final. And Kiko Flores near the end of the season went on a bad run of form. But for a newly reported team to get 13th and an FA Cup semi final, that's very good. I don't know why he got fired. In this game, I'm going to go Southampton 2 1. Guardiola's first game at home to Sunderland. And Guardiola, everywhere he's gone, he's a proven winner. Bayern Munich won leagues. That Barcelona team he's in charge of is an argument for that Barcelona team being the greatest team of all time. So he's a very good coach. Now we're up against Sunderland, who lost Sam Allardyce to England, but they got in Dave Mize, who I think it'll do good. But with Coney, their centre back possibly going to Sunderland, and the quality City have, I can only see one way. I can only see it's going one way, and that's a City win. And I'm going to, I'm going to say a big City win, four 0 Man City. It's also Mourinho's first game. It's Man United are away to Bournemouth. Now, Man United have spent big in the transfer market. Pogba. Pogba. So United have spent big in the transfer market. Pogba. In. Ibra. In. Bailey. In. Mkhitaryan. In. So they're going to be very good this year. And they could win the title. They have a very, very good chance to win the title. They've definitely up there for the title all season long. 
a ring against Bournemouth who they were good last season but they could be hit with second season syndrome it happens plus Pence was very leaky last year so I think United are going to have too much from and with with that leaky defence Bournemouth have I'm going to go 3-0 Man United now my last port of call Stamford Bridge where Antonio Conte has taken over Chelsea he's bought in N'Golo Conte and they've no European football so I expect them to be better than last season but let's face it they can't be any worse than last season because last season they were not great and they're up against they're up against West Ham who was seven Bilic they're up against West Ham who were good manager in seven Bilic they have good players in Pyatt in Iowa so I'm going to go for another draw in this one I'm going to go 2-2 now that's all for this week guys DJR Duck over and out.